What is going on guys? Super excited today to share with you my new tank setup and everything that's been going on, so let's do it. Before we start this video update, I just want to share with you all that plans have changed with my life and I do not have to shut down with any of my tanks anytime soon, so I'm super excited uh, for both my tanks that I have now. And uh, you guys are probably wondering how this new tank even came about. So let's back up the storyline and share with you all how this happened. So, so far with uh, Bobo Anatomy removal, I'm uh, two for four. <laughs> <laughs> Destroyed two. Oh, oh man. What just happened there is Inappropriate Reefer, also known as Moki, uh, getting ready to pull one of his anemones off his rock work for me. So a few weeks ago, I went over to Moki's place to hang out and we got into talking about anemones and I told him, man, I just missed out a chance to buy a black widow anemone. And he said, oh really? He's like, I just bought one. So I come to find out it was actually the, uh, the same guy that we were looking, um, uh, we were looking at the, uh, the, the for sale post and Moki got to it first, which I'm super excited for him about. Uh, but he so generously offered one of his anemones for me. And I said, wait, what? Are you being serious? And as you guys can see, he was 100% serious. Um, and I was very hesitant because I didn't want anything happen to his tank and having Resquad uh, come after me, kind of jokingly, but kind of not. Um, and, but as you guys can see here, he was so comfortable in working with his tank. Uh, I, I, for one, am not that comfortable. It just kind of scares me and I always get anxious doing it. But to see Moki uh, work on his tank, like how, how he, how you guys see him do it right now is just so refreshing. So here he is with a chopstick trying to get the anemones to close up um, before we try to pick one out. At this point, we picked out the anemone and uh, Moki's getting ready to start taking apart his rock skate. And this is one of the things that I didn't want to see happen to his tank. So he's working on it and there's a frog spawn. He throws it on the and it hits his A can accidentally. I felt so bad. I felt so bad for it. Um, <laughs> but you know, Moki over here, he's just very calm, laughing it off, uh, chugging along. And next thing that happens here, just watch. He's uh, removing the rock work, lifting it up. And all of a sudden, his huge frog spawn colony just falls off. And uh, my heart just stops. And I told them, I was like, Moki, like, let's just stop. And um, I don't I don't need the, uh, the anemone anymore. He's like, no, no, it's fine. Um, it was just so funny to see um, someone so calm and collective to work on their tank like that. Here is how a pro removes an anemone off a rock. Uh, take note guys, it actually works really well. He used the end of a plastic fork to slowly peel back the anemone's foot and it got most of it off. And the next step is to be gentle and persistent as Moki will show here. Yeah, I got a tiny little cave that part of foot can tuck into. I'm trying to get that, get the part out. He's doing uh, some stretching. Doing some <laughs> yoga. <laughs> We are uh, trying to get Moki's biggest anemone off his rock. And so, really stubborn, yeah? Yeah, I did not notice the last bit is tucked away in crevice. The anemone decided to be really stubborn. So, when all else fails, you use a hammer. This is what we gotta do. <laughs> So the good thing is that these are uh, Pukani rock, at least I think it is. So it should be pretty easy to... Is that Pukani? I think so. Finally, we were able to safely remove the anemone from the rock. I can assure you guys the anemone was not harmed and is currently thriving in my tank. And thank you so much, Moki, for doing all the work and giving me your anemone. Huge, huge thanks to you. And here we are today. Uh, I basically told my wife that we needed a bigger tank for the anemone and let's do a, an all anemone and all clown tank. And she was, uh, she was, she was on, on, uh, on board with it. 
Uh, so we actually drove four hours over to Pennsylvania to uh, that pet place, picked out a tank, came back, and within a matter of a few days, the tank was uh, up and running. I was just so excited, and I'm excited to show you guys the tank today. So let's get to it. So for some reason, the audio decided to mess up on me while I was recording these footages. So just bear with me while I do the uh, voiceover. Uh, so here is the tank. Uh, it, it is the 60 gallon by Marineland. So it's a 24 by 24 by 24, a true cube. And I just pointed out that the overflow is in the corner. And there is Moki's anemone that he gave me, which is doing awesome by the way. And there are the uh, other anemones that I have on the rocks as well. Uh, in the bottom there, you guys can see I have the uh, two rock flower anemones that I um, removed from the 25 gallon frag tank over to the 60 cube. And you guys will also see that I have some zoas. So even though I'm trying to make it an anemone tank, uh, I have zoas to kind of just help fill out the areas where the anemones would not be able to. And it was interesting. So these are the orange skunk clowns that I decided to get uh, a harem of. So there's actually 10. And they were uh, actually just congregating in the front of the tank when I first got them. And now they're sort of in the back. And um, at first the female, uh, it was just one female skunk clown, the one I'm pointing at right there. Uh, she took to the anemones first. And it was interesting because she kept going back to the harem and uh, almost like, hey, come into the anemone. So now there's actually a total of four skunk clowns in the anemone. I'm not sure if they're pairing off or what they're doing. So hopefully it works out. Um, we'll see. If the other clowns get beaten up too much, then I'll uh, know when to take them out and just uh, rehome them. You probably noticed a yellow eye cold tang in the tank and a really beautiful fish. Uh, my wife and I both wanted it. And so we got it. Uh, we're not sure if it's a he or a her, but we're calling it a her for now. And her name is Maury. Pretty original, right? Um, but she seems to be doing really well, uh, acclimating with her surroundings really well too, and just um, getting along fine with everyone in the tank. So we'll see how she does. Um, it's a pre pretty small, specimen still for the size of the tank um but we'll continue to monitor to her throughout the week and um if she starts showing signs of stress or just um act her swim pattern acting weird then you know we'll we'll know to do the right thing and uh, rehome her because um you know the the swim space isn't enough for a tank so we'll, we'll see but uh as of right now she seems to be doing uh, fine and well. And uh, swinging to the side here is another bubble tip, an enemy, and there is the magnifying glass. Uh, this one, my, my wife bought it, and it's actually really cool to look at um, the whole tank with. I could sit here for hours just watching the uh, clown swim in and out of the uh, an enemy. And as you guys probably saw, there is a skunk cleaner shrimp in there. I love those. Um, I'm not sure if I can get like two or three in the tank, so you guys will have to let me know. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, swinging on the other side, this is the Ice Cap 1K uh, Gyra Powerhead. Um, it's actually working really well, and I have the flow dialed uh, throughout the tank really well too by putting it that way uh, vertically. And it's actually really discreet. You can't, you can barely even notice it. And there's, there is my Radeon uh, XR30 Generation 4 Pro Lights. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Um, but yeah, you guys probably know I had it over in the 25 gallon frag tank. So I put it over into the 60 cube, uh, shut down the 10 gallon and put the AIs over there. Here's a look at the bottom of my tank. Uh, what you guys are seeing there is a trigger emerald sump excuse the orange filter i forgot to take it off uh, the sump is about 25 gallons and that is a swc protein skimmer 
I actually got that in a trade with DC Reefer. We both got pretty good uh, deals with each other. And right below, that's actually cycled bowed media from my 25 gallon tank and my 10 gallon tank. So my advice to you guys, always keep extra cycled bowed media on hand. You'll never know when you'll need it. There's my mangrove that I pulled from my 10 gallon. Uh, there's Cheeto in there. Uh, all the plumbing is relatively new to me for the bottom of the sump filtration. Uh, I did a pretty shoddy job, but I'm sure you know it'll, uh, it'll evolve and grow as well as I uh, go through the hobby. So there's the tank. We're really excited for this and our plans are to keep it an all in enemy tank as well as a harem of clowns. So fingers crossed and hope that the harem of clowns work out and they'll eventually all cuddle into the an enemy together. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the new tank and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram because that's where I do all my uh, latest updates. And if you guys are going to New York, uh, Reefa Palooza, I will see you there. And remember, guys, together we are mighty. Mighty Now Tank out! It's currently 10.30. We're gonna make some more water and hopefully uh, get this wet tonight. Hopefully no leaks for my plumbing job. <laughs>